Hey guys, it's Ian with Kentucky Spin and today's video is about safety when it comes to using social media. And so this is gonna cover all social media and I'm gonna give you about six tips on what to do to protect yourself. Let's dive right in. One thing that could be helpful is be careful adding people you don't know. If you're anything like me, you get a lot of people that add you or suggested friends, things like that, and people just pop up and you don't maybe don't know them. Now they could be a friend of a friend and if that's the case, that's safe, there's no, no harm, no foul. But if it's somebody who you don't know, you know, just kind of be cautious and be aware that you don't know this person, and then it's up to you whether you add them or not, but just kind of be aware of, of the person that you're adding. Um, and sometimes it's, it's not a good idea because sometimes it's some kind of scam um, and the person is not legit who they say they are. Two, I would say be aware of what you post. So sometimes, you know, you could post like a picture of your car, you just washed it and you forget that the license plate is showing um, or the VIN number or something that you wouldn't really want shown or known to the public. Or, you know, you just got your ID made and you're showing off your picture and you're trying to cover up your information, holding it to the camera, but you accidentally let something slip and some information is showing on there. Um, taking a picture of your new house and it has the address and everybody knows where you live now. Um, you may or may not care about that, but that's just something to be aware of, being aware of what you post. Three, uh, my third tip I'll say, be careful with strong opinions um, because depending on what it's about, right, you could get a lot of backlash and people drop hateful comments or mean comments towards you because um, they, don't, they don't agree with whatever you post it. So just keep that in mind. Not, not trying to discourage you from posting whatever you want to post, but just be aware that if you post something that's maybe polarizing um, or is just a strong opinion, you could get people who, you know, don't like that and that are your friends with and that can comment on it and you could, you could be a victim of cyber bullying that way. So if you post a strong comment or a strong opinion, just be sure that you're ready to defend it or you know just delete comments or you could turn you can even turn comments off to protect yourself from any hateful comments coming in that you don't want to have to deal with so you can still get your thoughts out there and get that release but you can also turn comments off something to consider four i'd say be aware of fake accounts uh, this kind of ties to one of my earlier points but you want to be careful for uh, people that are your friends that you should already be friends with so let's say you have a friend named Tom and the same guy with the same profile image named Tom adds you on a social media that's kind of weird right you need to message your friend Tom and see if he's aware that there's some other account using his name and um, sometimes this happens sometimes people get locked out of their account they forget their password they just create a new one no big deal other times though robots or people overseas or whatever can take an account mimic it steal pictures from somebody's account and portray the same name and act like they are that person um, so that's something that i would consider as well another thing with that is i, ha I have a story uh, somebody added me and claimed to be i think my mother it was talking very weird i kind of knew instantly it wasn't my mother right because i know my mom but just to be sure uh i had some questions that i asked that only my mother would know so i said you know what you, you know i'm sorry if this is weird but i need to make sure this is you what's your maiden name what is your son's name you, this is something easily that you should know if you are really my mother and sure enough that person blocked me almost immediately. So that person was trying to do some sort of scam or some sort of behavior um, using my mom's account. So that's a good example of how somebody can mimic looking like somebody else. So just be careful of that kind of thing when you see it. You know, sometimes people will look um, enhanced or just look like, I don't know, like a celebrity or something like that and they add you and they start messaging you, they'll say short phrases like, hi. Typically they'll mess like, so if you add them, they'll message you instantly. And then it'll be like, hi. And then you say, hey. And then, or whatever you say. You can say balloon and they'll still, there'll be an automated response. And this is how you can fish out, you know, scammers, robots, any kind of thing like that. Some kind of weird hacking thing. I've seen somewhere it'll just say, 
hey, did you get your money from the government yet? I got mine, click this link and you can get it. You gotta be careful for stuff like that because if you follow that link, there could be malware or spyware, something that can get into your computer and unlock all of your private information to the user. Um, you could also uh, accidentally send money to someone just by clicking a link. I mean, there's just, there's no telling what that person is trying to accomplish with doing that. So if that happens, you add someone and they send you a message, beware of that. Unless you have friends overseas, I would be cautious if somebody randomly adds you from, uh, you know, Pakistan. You don't know anybody in Pakistan. If you don't know anybody from there, then it's weird that a random person just added you from a foreign country. And obviously this is not specifically against Pakistanians. This is just in general. Um, you know, if you're not from that foreign country or you don't have people that you're in contact with in those countries and you get added, that's suspicious, right? Because how did they find you? And why do they want to be friends with you just randomly? Unless you do some sort of media or entertainment, some, some sort of thing where you're out and out there for people to see. For someone to just randomly add you, that's a little strange. I would just be cautious, just move forward cautiously. You can still be their friend. You can still add them. You can still interact with them if you choose to. Just be aware that you don't really know this person and you're not sure why they added you. Um, and if it were me, I would try to investigate further. Why did this person from a foreign country that I've never visited, why did they add me as a friend? Something to think about. Tip five, I would be aware of anything that's shared that you've posted. So if you posted a picture of yourself and someone shared it, I would just recognize that once it's shared, you can't control it anymore. So let's say you shared a video of yourself being funny. Um, and you're just like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll leave it up for a couple hours and I'll delete it later. Well, let's say one of your friends shares it. Well, now you would have to somehow get that friend to take it down, which is nearly impossible, unless they're just willing to do that and help you out. But let's say 10 people share it. Well, then you gotta track it down 10 times to get them to take it down. So it's, you know, just be aware that if you share something and it gets reshared, that it's very hard to control what happens with that video or image. Now, sometimes I've seen Facebook delete it for everybody um, that shared it. Sometimes it will not. So it's really important to look at the rules and you know, every platform, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, they all have their own individual rule sets. So it'll be good to really just look at those and see what the policy is on uh, taking uh, your own things down that you want to take down and see. It's probably gonna be different for each social media, but just as a general rule of thumb, be aware that if you share something, it's kinda out of your control and it's not gonna be easy to take down. Last tip, number six, I would say just, you know, report anything suspicious to you if you if you see fit to do so. So, you know, if you see a friend named Tom and this is the eighth time that person has added you, that's weird. I would maybe report that to Facebook or whatever social media platform you're using. Um, it helps them, you know, police that kind of behavior online. It also is gonna make you feel safer because you've dealt with the situation. You're kind of protected now. Um, there's just a lot of pros for doing that and there's really no cons because it's anonymous. If you block someone, uh, the only way they can really know is if they try to message you further or seek you out specifically. But like if you reported someone for doing something with their account or bullying you or any kind of thing like that, they will get blocked and there's really no way for them to contact you further and it doesn't send you a message like, hey, this person blocked you so that they could attack you in the future. Now, if there was some kind of sort of, you know, argument or heated discussion, both parties can kind of tell what happened. But I'm talking about outside of that, if you just get some weird behavior, maybe a scam or some scamish type behavior, um, you could report it. And it's gotten to the point now where you can specifically select what option happens. So this person is, is bullying me. This person is using my image the wrong way. This person is scamming me. Um, this person doesn't seem like a real human. This seems like a robot. There's all these different options that you can select from and then you can 
uh, do that. And again, that's just going to help the alg Facebook's algorithm or whatever platform's algorithm to catch that kind of behavior and help other people and help yourself. Those are my six tips for social media safety. I hope that they were helpful. And until next time, guys, peace out.